It just flew by? It flew by. It always flies by. It flies by because that's what good things do. Um, but that's what's supposed to happen, you know, when you know, you're with the one and only. And, uh, hey, there you are. Hey, what's going on? Speaking of dropping bombs, welcome to the Mid-Sack. This is our March Madness preview show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight, it goes down. We're going analog. We're, we're going analog. The redoubtable one, paper and pen, you're going to have, you're going to hold the us to it. Board. The clipboard, you're going to hold us to it. Okay, we are going to put our money where our mouth is tonight. The redoubtable one himself, Tom Izzo, the highly questionable one, Arjun Miliaccio. Segment one, the madness is upon us, boys and girls. We've already had two games last night. Pitt at the buzzer beat Mississippi State. Chalk went up for the, un- the underrated ACC. Knocking off an SEC team. That's one, boys and girls. They, they, they That's one. They could have lost that game. They could have, should have, and would have. Hey, you know, the Giants could have lost that Super Bowl in the past, too, but they didn't. No, I'm just saying, I think I think they should have beat Mississippi State by the more. It's madness. The madness of March. Neutral site game. Mississippi State couldn't really shoot. That was their undoing. That's part of the game, isn't it, boys and girls? By the way, we will be dropping bombs on you side. We are going to go over every single motherfucking game. We're going to go back and forth. And we're going to let it all hang out. And we're going to race. Oh, we got a racers, too. we got a racers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all going down, boys and girls. You're in the right place at the right time. And if you're not, well, then you better get there quick. Because this is gold. Gold tonight. The, the, but the best part okay. about this is that one of us is going to be up for dumbest take of the tournament tonight. True. I think I'm. No, 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 I no, think no. I'm going to take it home. No, no, because you know what? When you t- when you talked about what you had off air, it made sense. I don't think you're off your rocker, and I don't think you'll wait. You'll straight too much, boy. Mess. I'm not the only one that could have a dumb take tonight. Because by the end of the tournament, some of the shit we say tonight gotta is going to be fucking right right dumb. <laughs> right in the ass. <laughs> we'll um, like, they're going to go all the fucking way, yes, and they're bounced is. in the it second is. round. It's going to come back to bite us. Because it always sure. happens. It always happens. But anyway, it's going to be fun tonight. This is the first time of us doing this. Our first Mar- first March Madness, first of many. Let's and, light uh, them up. Let's light them up. Oh, yeah. And by the way, for the occasion, for the occasion, the redoubtable one, as usual, brought his A game. Brought his A game. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a lower cost cigar. Um, the moderately sized and cheaply priced Tatiana. RJ is smoking a cherry Tatiana. I'm smoking a vanilla Tatiana. Five dollars. Five dollars a cigar. Five dollars gets you holla. Let's see here. You know, sometimes I, I try to go super cheap and I'll smoke a Swisher. Yeah. Even this five dollar cigar is just that much better than a regular cheap fifty cent Swisher sweet. There you go. So bargain shopping, boys and girls. We're bringing in the brackets. <clears throat> Good stuff, cheap. With a little robusto. Yes, yeah, so a little gusto with a robusto. Um, we're gonna start. In the, what region is this? We're going to start in the uh, Midwest, where the team that was number one most of the year, Houston, captured the number one seed. Houston. Uh, despite going down to, to uh, Memphis in their conference title game, they beat Memphis two weeks before. Now, they were missing one of their starters, a dude who did the, the split, and he wasn't supposed to do the split, as you know, so he pulled is his that Nasser or Vassar? What's his name? It's either Vassar or Nasser. I asked it the other night. Yeah, we, we still don't know it. No, because you asked me when I was stoked. <laughs> Not like it was something I was going to. I mean, yeah, we were talking about that guy all day. He's a talented he kid. Healthy? He's a talented he kid. Be healthy? Or is he, wait, is that his guy? Or, no, Alabama's healthy. They got everybody. Yeah. Alabama's healthy. Yeah, Alabama's it's Houston. Healthy. Yeah, so we're going to start in the, in the Midwest. We're going to go Midwest, West, South, and we're going to end in the East. Uh, tonight, and uh, if we have to go over to multiple, we will do it. But we're going to break this down. Some of these we're not going to debate. I'm sure we're going to agree, but some of them are probably going to get a little yeah, heated. Yeah, yeah. Really, but that's the that's the madness of March, boys and girls. That's what happens. You're in that pool. I know you're in a pool. Don't tell me you're not in a pool because you're everybody's in a fucking pool. Okay, well, let me because just say this. in that rainbow, there's money. There's money to be had there, boys and girls. I'm not going to have a lot of argument, honestly, Good. because there's just there's too many teams. Yeah. See, and there's where the five dollar cigar comes into play. Yeah. It's already unraveling. Of course it is. It's all right. But what are you going to do? It's unraveling faster than your no. bracket. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know enough to pick a good bracket. Nobody does. But nobody does. Nobody does. Even if you think you know, you don't know because this is why the, this is what makes this tournament. Yeah, but you've been the, watching college basketball since the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. I have not. And you know what I've learned? I basically started watching championship. You know what I've learned? 20 fucking teams could win this thing. Legitimately, it is the deepest feel I've ever seen. I'm not the first person, by the way, who has said that. 
Okay, and I have a feeling I'm not going to be the last. Okay. Okay, Joe Lenati. Uh, bracketology, bracketology, Joe. Um, I'm, I'm fucking so, hack, hackatologist. So the, the first one I think is a no-brainer. We know Houston's going to win. I don't think anybody here is anybody on this on this planet picking Northern Kentucky outside of people in Northern Kentucky. I think we got U of H on that first one. That's an easy one. Now the eight nine games classically are Donnie Brooks. Eight nine is a definition of a Donnie because on paper these teams are evenly matched. Okay, so when you look at Iowa and Auburn here. They both came out of conferences that I think got one too many in, and these might be two of those one too many. <laughs> okay, um, but somebody's got to win the thing, damn it. So I know it's really not sexy. I just not picked, sexy. I picked Iowa. Honestly, I, either you know, it's just like either one of them. Flip a coin. Who'd you pick? I picked Iowa. Um, I was going to go with Auburn. Uh, the only reason being, I know the Auburn coach Bruce Pearl. He's been to a Final Four. So <clears throat> Bruce Pearl Morris still Prince. at Auburn? Yeah. Didn't know that. Yep. So we're going we with went that. to a Final Four with Tennessee, right? I think it was, yeah. Tennessee. Or did he go yeah. with Auburn? It was ten. No, actually it was with Auburn because Chuck Charles Brockett was falling the whole way a couple years ago. So it was with Auburn. He was good on Tennessee, too. Yeah, they got to an Elite Eight with Tennessee. He's a, That's when he blew up. And yeah. <clears throat> that's when he got flipped popular. Out, flipped out. Yeah, he did. Um, and then we got the 5-12, Miami, Drake. Miami um, versus one of, it's, it's strange that Miami is actually battling one of the most popular rappers of the day. Yeah. Mm. Um, but isn't Drake from Miami? No, it's from Canada. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. But I'm pretty sure Miami is better than Canada and better than Drake, and we'll win this game. Uh, the, the guard, his name is Love. Is it Love? You're talking about Miami's guard? This kid's nasty. This kid might be the best guard in America. He's that good. Um, and they've got size and speed around him. Um, in every game they've kind of lost, they've been in every damn game. So, to me... Who are you saying this about? I'm saying about Miami, which is why I've already penciled in Hurricanes. All right. The U. I was putting the U. The U. The next one we don't really need to talk about, correct? No, Indiana's going to take care of business. Um, They're back. Indiana is back. They have been been good all year. They make I like Indiana. They could make a long run in this tournament. They're right in the middle of that bracket where you want to be to make a run. They Um, have a super athletic big... I don't, what's his name? Is it Jeff? Is it Jackson Davis? I think it's him. Yeah, he's good. He's Which is legit. He's strange. a first round draft. It's a strange pick. name. He's a first round draft. Pick. Whenever he comes out, he's a first. Round you know, Jackson Davis was like um, a Confederate person, I believe. Yeah. Wasn't and he? then you got you got Pitt because Pitt won the other night against Iowa State. Um, I got Jackson t- Davis was the name of a school down here that got changed. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. I think it was like a Confederate general or something. I believe he was. That name does sound familiar. Although, um, actually, anyway. maybe I'm wrong. Let me let me. Can I Could fact be. check that? You can. Because it might be the reverse. Jefferson um, Davis was definitely a confetti. I mean, Jackson, um, I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on, RJ. Okay. Hold on. Um, <laughs> we got to we got to get this one right. Okay. Because if if Jackson Davis are they playing? Who? Jackson Davis? No, it's Kent State. I think Jackson Davis is the kid's name on Indiana. Oh, the kid who, oh, okay. The, 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 the big athletic big. Him. Hold on. Uh, if we go there. Uh, do, 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 do. He's in the Big 12, Big 10. And Big 10. It's not bringing it up. Why would it do that? Maybe that's not his name? I don't know. If Bring I up Indiana men's basketball. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Not let me do it. Wait, here we go. Indiana. So if I look at their stats, it's Trace Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis. The dude is a stud. 20 points a game. He's a double double machine. Listen to this, this dude's numbers 20 points, just under 20 points a game, just under 11 rebounds a game, four assists per game, 2.7 blocks per game. He big. shoots 57% for the other. Now here's the drawback. He's only a 68% foul shooter, but he's a kid. But. In any event, the dude is a beast. He leads his team in four of his five categories. Points, rebounds, assists, and blocks. Yeah, Indiana. Yep, Indiana. Indiana. Yep. Okay, so him. Jackson Davis, maybe not a Fetty Wap. It was Jefferson Davis. My apologies. It's all right. It's what you My kid's school is named Jackson Davis, though. I'm this trying to figure out who that is. He's 6'9". He's a senior, so he's 22. So he's a man. I didn't he's realize not. he was a senior. He's, yeah. kind of, he's getting drafted. Yeah, I'd say him and Timmy. He's a lot of Ray. I'd say him and Timmy are the two best seniors in the kid from Kentucky. 
IRA in this tournament. Um, so anyway, he's legit. So moving on, we've got uh, Iowa State against Pitt. Now, I have been on record as saying that the ACC is the most underrated conference in America, and they're going to prove it. So I'm going to go with Pitt. Um, even though Iowa well, – let's see, Iowa's 19 and 13. They're one of those bubble teams. I don't know if they should have even got there. I'm going to Iowa State. Um, that's fine. I didn't, um, think, I didn't think Pitt looked great last night. They played a good team. That, I know. But they, they played a team that couldn't shoot. And I think if that team – if that team – didn't shoot so poorly in the second half, they would have beat Pitt going away. Sure, now, sure. How, do, how does that relate to Iowa State? It doesn't. It doesn't. So, but, you know, I'm just going but. on what I think. Who cares? Anyway, um, then next we have Xavier against Kenshaw. I don't even think the Almighty is going to pick Kenshaw. Okay, um, actually, hang on a second. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to talk about. Okay, let's talk. So, how good is Xavier? 25 and 9 in the Big East. They're legit. Who'd they lose to? Do we know? Let me pull them up. Um, if you. Because I don't know what it is. This is a stupid feeling that I'm getting that Kennesaw State could win. There's always an upset, but I don't think it's going to be that. I know. And, but it's rarely. What is that? The 3 14, three three 14 game. game. Yeah. That's, that's a rare one. Mm-hmm. So if you look at Xavier, they lost to Indiana by 2. Okay. They lost to Duke by seven. They lost to Gonzaga by four. Let's look at those three opponents, boys and girls, because <laughs> they're all seated four, five or higher in the tournament, in their bracket. They've played nine games against the top 25. I'm saying they've played a tough, tough schedule. Mm. Uh, they lost to DePaul at DePaul by one. They lost at Creighton. Creighton was the one blowout. Uh, they lost at Butler by two. They lost at Marquette by one. They lost to Villanova by one. And they, they beat UConn twice. They beat UConn twice. UConn, a lot of people have in the a lot of people have UConn in the final. They lost um, to Duke by seven, Gonzaga by four. They beat Creighton twice. The bad loss is DePaul, I guess, if you want to. Lost to Indiana by two. Yep. Tough game when Indiana was ranked twelve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way I'm picking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick them yesterday, and I'm not picking them now. No. That would be silly. That'd be silly. Uh, moving on. Uh, we've got <laughs> Texas A&M against Penn State. Now, just because of Brian, I would love to see Penn State win this fucking thing. And cram, him? cram it right up his keister with his putt. Because oh, oh, cause he says they suck? He'd have to watch them. Mm. He'd have to keep watching them. It's a 7-10 game. So technically, and, and Penn State, look at Penn State took on all comers, and they were respectable in a good conference. So it, it wouldn't be a stretch if they won that game. A&M who looked really, really good until Alabama smacked him. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, as soon as I said something about A&M, wha-pow! But it was Alabama. I know. I mean, so... But I saw them, and I was like, they're fucking good. To me, um, I don't really have any upsets yet in this bracket. There's always one. To me, I'm going to go with Penn State on this one because I don't really have an underseed pl- uh, winning yet. So, to me, that's that's the one in that bracket. Well, if you want to call Pitt 11 beating Iowa State, there's your other one. I got two. There's usually a couple in each bracket. Why can't that. I find the Penn State game? It's right below the Xavier game. I know. I'm trying to find it on my digital copy because oh. that's where I picked it yesterday. Gotcha. So, um, to me, uh, this bracket's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, all these brackets are going to be fun. I, there's not a, usually there's one bracket you're like, eh. No, I think they're all going to be fun. I've, had, I've looked at it for the past two days, and I'm like, you know what? Three days, rather. And I'm like, I don't, every one of these brackets is going to have this, the potential for something bad to happen to a, a top seed. There is. Yeah, so, I mean, <clears> to me, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, That's fun, but it also ruins brackets, and it's not fun. Even the ladies can't get that lucky. But even the ladies, what? Well, even the ladies aren't going to get that lucky. <laughs> no way. So anyway, we close up the bracket with Texas and Colgate. Do you really want to talk about that one? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with toothpaste in that one. Yeah. So. Uh, so you went PSU over A and M. Yep. Not me. Nope. I'm going A and M. Yep. Um, okay. So then we move to the mid, the West bracket, where top seed and defending national champion the Jayhawks, who have a legit chance to be the first team since the Gators 0708 to repeat, and they have a legit chance. They have been in the top five pretty much all year, and they won their regular season conference championship. Um, did they win in the final, or did they lose? Kansas. Yeah. Did they win their conference championship? Or did they lose it? I forget. I want to say they got their ass beat. I think they lost bad. Who beat them? Um, Texas? 
That'd have been Texas. Texas beat them by twenty, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Right. And we yeah, were but like, that self didn't coach. Self wasn't right, there. Right, right. Then I got to the championship without him. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, I mean, come on. He's I mean, not, it's more about the guys, right? <laughs> the guys he recruited and he coached, Tom. Yes. <laughs> he built the team. Okay, so if you take all the guys off the court, I don't think they could win. As know, opposed think, to you take Bill Self. I think Self could, could keep them. Yeah, you think so? You think it's keeping them? Still got a J. He'd be like, all right, RJ, Tommy, get in there. Yeah, I'm Bill Self. I right. built this fucking thing. Right. I built this fucking thing. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, Bill Self is going to be back, and that means the Jayhawks are back. So I that think means we're he's not healthy enough to be on the sideline. Yeah. So we will stay at home. We'll selfie. go on rock chalk. Stay at home. home. They're not losing to a 16 seed. I know. I'm kidding. Yeah, so I'm uh, Kansas. Uh, then we got another eight nine Arkansas Illinois. Now this one, this one to me is a legit flip of the coin. <laughs> I got Illy and um. This is SEC versus Big Ten, the two conferences that got the most teams. The two overrated conferences. The two overrated conferences, which means one of these bastards has to win. Um, I picked the SEC in the other one so because I think I was in that Big Ten conference. I'm going to go with uh, Arkansas in this one, um, the Razorbacks. Then I'm we got – I'm going with Illinois because it makes me think of D. Brown D. with Brown. the orange headband. Remember when they were good? you got to take that wrapper off. I do. You're going to smoke it. Smoke. Shit. You remember D. Brown? Not the Celtics D. Brown. No, I don't. D. Either. Brown from Illinois? Yes. Point guard? I do. Um, he, was, he was fun to watch. He St. Was. Mary's VCU. Here we Jets, go. Baby. Here we go. Okay. Now, St. Mary's. You don't want to go to war with the Rams, baby. St. Ma- Mary's had a very good year. They did. They were legit. I mean, they're legit. I mean, they're that, always legit. No, they haven't been. They've been frauds in the beginning. They've become legit in the past couple of years. They're always they're always good to get out of the first round, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Usually, they're, usually they're the 12 seed. Usually they're the lower seed. Today they're the five seed. This is the best team I think they've ever had. Um, oh great! But but have you seen them play four or five times? Here's what I know: they, they don't. got a freshman guard. Their their backcourt is not as good as VCU's. They have um, a good freshman guard. They do, but VCU's but got a better. He's not guard. as good as Ace Ball. No, he's not. No. And we talked about St. Mary's is coming across the country to play this game. Yeah, I'm hoping there's a good VCU contingent. Which Actually, yeah, I'm I'm saying it's funny how it's the West Region, but they're in Albany, New York. <laughs> which I don't, again, this is what I can't. None stand. of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. Well, if you're gonna do that, put them all in the West at least. <laughs> do that. Do one thing. It's just like what's so hard about this? You got them all there anyway. Just use yeah. the sites. It's so stupid. Um, well, it's basically it's it's all about the. Elite Eight, I guess, is where it, it's truly in the West. Okay, we're both taking VCU on this, I assume. Yeah, because okay. so the West, the West ends up in Vegas. That's that's what makes it the Midwest is where you play the Elite Eight. UConn, Iona, Mr. Patino, who is why you just ignore what I said? What you, said, what? you were taking. I know you're taking VCU. No, we're talking. You were talking about why are they? Why is it called the West if they're not in the West? Yeah, and I was saying. It ends. It ends in Vegas in the West. Okay. So that part's legit. Yeah, I mean, I, because maybe they don't have enough places in the West, or maybe to your point, I don't know well, what the fuck. They've got people in Denver and Des Moines, in Sacramento. De- you know, there's. I mean, this. It's all over the place. It's all over. The place. Um, so anyway, um, the next one, Yukon, Iona. Mr. Patino, Mr. Pinocchio, as I refer <laughs> to him. UConn better win. The man who destroyed the Boston Celtics and demoted Red Auerbach. This ass clown. The man with a picture of himself by his bed that he kisses every night before he goes to sleep. Pro-choice Patino. Pro-choice Patino, as you know. You know him as pro-choice, I know him as Pinocchio. <laughs> Either way, the man sucks, okay? And I hope UConn beats them by 100. <laughs> so I'm going with UConn. Um, Some people are picking UConn to win. The whole thing. TCU... I know you like Arizona State there. I do, and I'm picking them again because I'm telling you right now, they beat, they beat in the last two weeks, they beat UCLA and Arizona. I, I like Jamie Dixon, though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, He's a good coach there at um, he is. TCU. Um, but I'm going with State. With, Remember, uh, he, with kind of brought, he, he brought Pitt back into the fold when he was there. By the way, have they won yet? <laughs> Maybe they won. That's what I was looking for. Um, that would be no, good. They're, they're destroying them. Yeah, they are. I'm saying they should not have been in that game. It's a joke. 53-26 um, at yeah, half. Yeah. They're that 53-26. to 26. Okay. So, for 
You think TCU's in trouble? Hey, where the fuck did Nevada come from? What fucking league are they out of? Why is that shitbag team here? You're telling me they're better than Clemson or freaking Dayton? No, they're well, not. You know, let me ask you your opinion on something. In these in these uh, playing games, yes. You know, there's there's teams in here that won their tourna- their uh, conference tournament. Yeah, but usually they're small schools. I understand. Yeah, but now you got a Pac-10 power in there, and mm-hmm. who the fuck is Nevada? So, well, so do you think do you think these games should always be pl- played against an at for an at large? Yes. If you got it, if you yes. if you won your tournament, why aren't a, you a in? conference champion should not have to play this game? Right. I don't care what conference it is. If you won your conference championship, you should get to Thursday at least. You may lose on Thursday, right. but you should get to Thursday. Yeah, and like the playing so, games could be like the last eight teams that didn't get in. I don't know why it's not. Right. But or maybe it is. Again, this you know this is all about RPI rating. But conference, if you won your conference tournament, you should not be in that. Well, yeah, because if it if it isn't, it's almost like the guarantee. You if it's be, an automatic bid, yeah. then you shouldn't be in My a My impression game. of this was the last date were all automatic bids. Because all the comp- – I mean, we're all, we're all at-large at bids, rather. Because all the automatic bids, you're automatic, you're in. So it's all about the bubble team. If you win your conference, you're not in a bubble, you're in. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this looks like bubble teams. Right. Because ASU it should did be the not last, win. It should be the last eight. Yeah. Out. ASU did not win their tournament. They should be there. But the team they're playing, if that was a conference champion, they should right. not be playing. I think, I think some of the – so Fairleigh Dickinson, they didn't. They're the team that won their conference the only only because the team that beat them was in their fourth year after moving up to. to oh, it was uh, Merrimack. Yeah, who beat them? Who beat who them? Beat yeah. Them. Sorry, Lisa. <clears throat> My so, cousin Lisa went there. So all four of her kids went graduate. So fairly there. Dickinson, I don't feel bad for them, um, but I think that I think they didn't win. Them, they should be in this. Right. But there are other teams. I don't know if it's Nevada or um, who played last night. Before, uh, before Pitt. Pitt. Before Pitt? Oh, mm-hmm. Pitt was the first game. I don't know. Uh, let me see. They had the results on there for the bracketology. Bracketology. I think it was the other two teams. Let's see. They had... Oh, we can look. We can look. Do, yeah, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Pretty sure they won their tournament. I think I watched it. Um, Southeast Missouri State, I'm not sure, but I think they did too. I don't know. But that's kind of bullshit, it. right? It is. Even though, like, I understand that Corpus Christi, just um, because just because they won their tournament, they're yeah. still probably less than. Yeah. So you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand guess. they're not as good as the as. No, as I agree. The teams that um, didn't win their tournament but are in big tournaments. So yeah, that was a. <clears throat> to your point, I agree with you that if you if you won your conference tournament, you should not be in the, yeah. the playing games. Uh, moving on, Gonzaga Grand Canyon. I've seen Grand Canyon. They're a nice team. I like them. But Gonzaga, I think, is better this year than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were really going to take a step back in the last – but this team is, is damn near close to the one that lost in the finals two years ago. Um, Timmy's a senior. He's playing w- very well. Timmy's had a great year. Um, and I haven't seen them play once. I've seen them play a number of times. Um, so I'm obviously taking – they're a three seed, deservedly so. I'm taking Zaga – there against Grand Can- Canyon, who I like. And if it wasn't them, I would probably, if it wasn't fucking Gonzaga, they, I might pick them in an upset, but they're not beating Gonzaga. Dude, I think a um, three is going down this year. Well, they're going to go down eventually. I don't have the courage to pick it. Well, there's two more chances, Tom. Okay, anyway, then we go to North. Now, Northwestern, no one's talking about no, Northwestern. No, no, no. They actually might be the surprise team of the, of the entire season. Besides, you think they can make a run? I think they can win the first game. I don't think they're okay. beating Texas in the next okay. round. I think they can win the game. They yeah, but them winning the first game wouldn't be a surprise. They're the seventh. They weren't pro- they're like Pitt. They weren't projected to be here. They came out of nowhere. I mean, I'm picking them. Yeah, I'm picking them against Boise State. Um, I have not seen Boise State. That's the one of the few teams I've not seen. The only time you watch Boise State I think is if the football field the field's is bright blue, blue with the orange ends. Oh, wow. <laughs> looks kind of cool. It's not blue. Yeah. It's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, most notably, they had that crazy play where I think they beat. Yeah. Who the fuck did they beat? Arkansas or Oklahoma? Remember with like the Statue of Liberty play in the bowl game? Yeah, yeah. major upset. That was amazing. And the guy proposed to the cheerleader. <clears throat> she said yes. Was no. that was Adrian Peterson in that game? No, that was way after him. It was. Yeah, he was gone. He was a pro. Who was the back? I don't know, but <clears throat> Oklahoma should not have lost that game. But I'll tell you what, Boise, that was their moment of shine. That was their, you know, one shining moment, if you will. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, <laughs> that was Oklahoma. So right. we're both going. It was Oklahoma, yes. So we're going with Northwestern in that one. And then we got number two, <clears throat> UCLA, who, who I think people are sleeping on. 
um, in terms of a Final Four appearance. Um, I've got them drubbing NC Asheville. Uh, I don't think anybody's picking that one. Which leads us to the the South region, where the perennial number one, they were going back and forth with Houston all year, Alabama. No, not the football team. Sorry. My apologies. I'm looking something He's up. not the best. Call him in the link for nothing, folks. <laughs> um, anyway, the bottom line is we are in the South region now. Alabama, who was flirting between one and three basically all year, too. They've been consistent. They are hosted. They have that dude, Miller, that dude. Okay, he's one of those dudes. He's that dude. Um, arguably the best player in America this year. Um, and they played in the tough conference. SEC is a tough conference. I'm not saying it's not. Um, but they, were basically, they, they basically led wire to wire. Um, and won the conference tournament too, I believe, right? Convincingly. Um, Adrian Peterson was in this game. Was he? He's number 28, isn't he? I don't, I don't know. For Oklahoma? What year is it? I don't know. See, so you go there, and then you have to go there. <sighs> Sorry, you know I'm tangenting. That's incredible. Uh, anyway. I'm pretty sure I remember him being in this game. He might have been. I'm just saying. I thought, was, I thought it was after him. But uh, in any event, um, Alabama is going to crush this Corpus Christi team um, like a side of beef. Uh, so we're going with Bama on that one. And then we've got Mar – now, Maryland, West Virginia. I, listen – West Virginia should not be in this tournament. Um, the problem is Maryland stinks. Sorry, DJ. Um, I've watched them. I know they won 21 games, but they lost 12. And I swear to God, every time I saw them play, they lost. So I have no faith in Maryland whatsoever, but I hate West Virginia that they're even here. So it's, this is one of those, I'm going to do it holding my nose because I don't know who the hell is going to win this game, <clears> but I don't like either one of them. So, and I like Bob Hawkins as a coach. Again, we said it the other night. Uh, he's a great coach. They had a bad year. This was all about the, the league that they were in. Okay, and they're going to say that. Well, if they were in that league, bullshit. Bullshit. They sucked. Um, <laughs> 19 and 14, they fucking blew. All right. So um, I'm going to take, holding my nose, Maryland. Um, who you, you got? Did you say Maryland? Maryland. Yeah. Holding my nose. I had to check. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Adrian Peterson was in that game. Okay. 07. Um, 07. 07. So San Diego State. This is one. See, San Diego State, everybody's talking up. Yeah, I picked Maryland. Everybody's talking up San Diego State. But they're playing Charleston, who was ranked at one point, and they were the last unbeaten team in the country. They're 31-3, and three, boys. Dude, uh, you know what Lenardi called San Diego State the other day? What? Perennial power. Remember when I was telling you they're always fucking in there? Perennial, based you on like, what? they're nothing. They're not. Wait, well, based on what do you say? Why? Give me your, I hope you had a reason. Just meaning they always win that conference, and they always come in, and they have a decent showing. They usually win a game. What conference are they in? I have no clue. Is it like the WAC or like the Mountain West? I don't oh. know. I'm going to see this bracket or this conference. No, it can't be in the Mountain West. They're in like the... No, they're in the Pacific uh, something, whatever it is. Maybe it's the West Coast Conference? Maybe, WCC. Yeah, let's see. We'll go I next. wish it said that next to the team. Yeah, it would, That would help, wouldn't it? So, yeah, we're going Bama, yeah. Maryland. Lenardi thinks that uh, <clears throat> West Virginia is going to win that game. Good for him. I know he can go fuck himself. <laughs> um, I know, I'm, almost, I'm almost glad that my picks are different because I don't just want to go with Joe fucking. No, you don't agree with anything he says. He's not always right either. Yeah, but the motherfucker does his homework more than anybody. Well, it's his job. Right. Um, they are not in the West Coast Conference because that's Gonzaga and St. Mary territory. So, oh, really? Yeah. It's not that's, that's not the Lo Northwest? That used to be Loyola, Marymount, remember those guys? With uh, Bo yeah. Kimmel and those boys. And then before them... Bill Russell, the San Francisco, by the way, you know what their name is? The Dons. Loyola Marymount, they usually yeah. make an appearance. No, they were when, when those guys were there. Pepperdine, <clears throat> Dennis Johnson back in the day. Uh, well, they only lose one conference. Where are they? Wait a minute. <clears throat> I didn't see them in anything. They must be in one that you don't realize they're in. Uh, the Summit League? No, they're not. That's, Oral, that's where Oral Roberts is. <clears throat> um, the Southwestern Athletic Conference? No, that's Alcorn State and Grambling. Uh, Southland? Look no. up San Diego State basketball. Well, I just went through every conference. Right, but you're searching through conferences instead of looking at the team. You know what team it is. Mm -mm. Mount, dude, it was the Mountain West. It was the Mountain West? Yeah. 
I said that, and then I was like, no, nah, they're in San Diego. Dude, this <laughs> this Western Conference, the Mountain West got four teams. In San Diego? Is they this- got the Utah State Aggies in, the Boise State in, and the Nevada Wolfpack, who, by the way, Arizona State's wiping their ass with right now. That's UNLV's conference. They got Nevada? Nevada, Las Vegas is in that conference. Yeah, Nevada finished fourth. 22 and 10, 12 and 6 in the conference. 22 and 10, and they got in as an at large? They think the, they think the Mountain West conference. I bet you Dayton could have beat them. Yes, they could have. Boise, Rutgers probably could have Boise beat them. State? I bet you Dayton could beat them you too. Bet. Okay. Dude, so, did you see Rutgers got upset last night yeah. in the fucking by Hofstra? Because I said, because I said I like them. You are amazing. Do me a favor. Pick pick Alabama to win the whole thing. Just do it. <laughs> I already did. Good. <laughs> I already did, but I'm, I think I'm going to change it to Texas. Um, well, that would be a good choice too. They've been awesome all year. Um, so anyway, San Diego State. Look, they won that conference. Apparently, there's four teams in that conference, and I never thought the Mountain West would get four teams ever. ever That's excessive. Um, Why? I don't know. But Nevada's proving that they shouldn't. I'm picking Charles. It's, it's one thing for Nevada to lose to ASU. <clears throat> it's not even to lose by 35. Okay, what just because of that, I'm picking Charleston. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them in the ass with a deal, though. I <laughs> see. Uh, bam, I got them already. Mary. That one. Um, damn it. They're the conference champion. I'm going to go with San Diego State on this one. I think they're the one team that maybe belongs. Um, and then you got Virginia Furman. No one on their this, in this earth is picking Furman. Um, so we're going to go. However, with, we're going to go. Virginia U, once v, lost to a 16 seed, and then they won a national. Championship. Remember that they've been on both sides of the spectrum. Remember that Creighton, NC State. Now this one is an enigma. The Big East <laughs> yeah. frauds. Well, it's the ACC. Whoever else says it's frauds. So I'm going. Yeah. I'm going because again, I have all higher seeds winning right now. I'm going with NC State in this one. Finally, um, you, had, you showed a little something. Yeah, I'm going with that. You've been that picking one. chalk all night. I'm tired not, of it. That's not true. I picked VCU. I picked I picked PSU. They're a 10 seed. Pitt's an 11. I got them. All right, 11 over 7 isn't impressive. Isn't that, that's not terrible. I mean, I just haven't gone. I mean, is this the worth 11? I haven't gone lower. I haven't gone lower than 11 yet. Let's put it that way. Um, you want to beat, beat my well, mind? And by the way, no, here's you the VCU. You got a 12 in there. They're a 12. Okay, they're a 12. Um, Baylor, UC Santa Barbara. Baylor won the national championship two years ago. Um, they were they were in Kansas' conference. They finished third, I think, second or third. Um, they're legit. Um, See, I got them losing to NC State. That's possible, but I got them winning today <laughs> or tomorrow, Me too. whatever that is. Um, Missouri, Utah State. Uh, Who the fuck not? I go, well, Utah I go, State was second in San Diego State's conference. So, I like Mizzou. Uh, I mean, if um, that whole conference, I got San Diego State winning that one. So I'm, I, got, I think the only one that should have been this. I'm gonna go with Mizzou also. Um, Yo, wouldn't it be hilarious if that whole conference fucking goes? Well, to yeah, yeah, y'all get this. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna fucking. No, happen. it's not because what's her name's getting pounded, pounded in the ass tonight. <laughs> They're done. And ASU was like, no loop, no loop. You got nothing no, to worry no, about. No, 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 no. Hey, Dayton, this is for you. He's <laughs> like, oh my God. I mean, how did that conference get four and the A 10 couldn't get two? That's bullshit. That's and the bullshit. Had three 25 win teams. That's bullshit. Um, now, Utah State, 26 and eight. But they're not beating Missouri. That's number two in the San Diego's conference. That's oh no, team. no, I I picked yeah, I picked yeah. Missouri. Uh, I Arizona, saw Missouri played yeah. nice the other day. I yeah. can't remember they beat a good team in their in their tournament the other day. Yeah, they did. Um, I can't remember who the fuck it was. Um, who was we it? were watching the game. Um, we were. Um, they had a guard who was uh, nasty. The, yeah, he was. Um, they're good, but Miz, I think Missouri. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, Arizona. Arizona, Princeton. Look, Arizona. I'll, I just have this thing for because they next to Duke. No, actually, they have more than Duke. Um, American white ball players, Arizona, legit that are great. <laughs> I, and I, nothing against European ball players; they're awesome. But it's nice to see American white ball players American in there, white representing, ball representing. Dear and God. I, I got it. I got it. What? What's wrong with Dear being God. proud of your being white? Was that a proud to be proud to be white? <laughs> Go for it. Okay, nothing wrong with that. It's proud to be everything else, but no, you can't. If you're white, you should be ashamed of yourself, even though you had nothing to do with that crap. <laughs> so, anyway, in fact, you can you don't condone it, you condemn it. <laughs> but whatever, I digress. Anyway, the bottom line is Arizona's going to wipe their ass with Princeton. White <laughs> excellence. So the cats. I'm putting the cats. Cats. Yeah, that's, um, that's, you just you just doomed them. <laughs> Last but not least, first round in the East, the greatest big man this side of 
Who? <laughs> Was there another big man out there? Uh, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, maybe. This dude is legit. And he is legit. He proved himself. Now, his guards are going to be his, his downfall because they're going to get pistol whipped at some point. But it ain't going to be in the first round. They're going to take care Hang of it. Hang on a second. You, you glazed past Arizona Princeton. Was it Jay Wright that he said he could see Arizona Princeton? No, he didn't. He said something like, hey, you know, I know this is a long shot, but that Princeton team, pretty good. Didn't he say something like that? I didn't see it. Um, Don't lie, you saw it. I didn't see it. I didn't see the part where he said that. Right, of course, we're not going mm-hmm. Princeton. No, we're not. Just, no one, does anybody agree with him? No. no. <laughs> well, well, he, um, he did the half ass thing. You know how, like, yeah. people will hedge, so they'll yeah. go, I'm going with this person. And then they go, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I'll tell you what. I talked I, about it. I, I would, said it was exactly possible. Right, exactly. It's the classic hedge. First of all, I'm the master at that. You are the total I master. I am the master. I am Yoda of the hedge. I am, if hedging had a universe, I would be Yoda. Okay, anyway, the bottom RJ line. RJ says is, these things like, I mean, they're going to win. But let me tell you what, if they turn the ball over. But that's true, though. Of course. It's I'm always, it's it's true. always true. Okay. But if they play like shit, they could lose. <laughs> no, just turn the ball over. <laughs> that's all it takes. Um, Memphis for a, a penny. Penny, I'm with you, Penny. Penny, I'm rolling with Penny. I'm going with Memphis on that one. Um, then we got Duke Oral Roberts. Duke's the hottest team in America, um, and um, a lot of people are jumping on that bandwagon, and I see why, because that freshman class is starting to look like the top class in America, because that's what they were rated last year. So, um, Phil, your favorite guy, Philip Philip Philipowski, Philipowski, whatever his name is. Philipowski? Philipowski. This kid, the last... like him and he's white? I, I didn't say you didn't. When did I accuse you of not liking? You got two. No, you were just you were very you were very defensive when I made fun of you about what? liking Arizona for their whiteness. I like white American saying, basketball I like players because there Phillip, was a stint there where there weren't basketball. many of them. That's all, and they're making a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Duke uh, Duke over Oral Sex. Um, See, that's the only problem. Oral Sex Roberts has the best nickname I've ever given to a university, and yes, I gave that to them. It was you. Huh? I'm sure there were thousands of others who said the same thing. <laughs> there were thousands but of others. Within our stone circle, belligerent. Within our circle. <laughs> it I was, was you. the one it that was said you. it. It was you. Okay. Uh, yeah, full We were props. watching and I was like, fuck, Oral Sex it, Roberts is beaten. No one was, yeah. was laughing because they'd all heard it a thousand times before in their other circles. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> anyway. Um, Nobody said, oh, yeah, my friend used to say that. Tennessee, Louisiana. The Raging Cajuns. This is the coolest name in all of basketball. The Raging Oh, the Raging Cajuns. Who's Raging. that, Louisiana State? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're playing ten- – Now, Tennessee – They're usually a fast-ass Tennessee team. is is missing a player, I believe. I don't know if he's coming back. Tennessee's only 23 and 10. Well, they were nasty until they got hurt. They got banged up. They're, so. they're, weren't they in the top five? Top five. five. They, they were. They were at one four. point, they were flirting with one. They beat Alabama. When they were full strength, they beat Alabama. So I don't know what their status is. This is the problem. Because um, I really want to. I really. They peaked early. Yeah. That, well, they, but they were banged up, too. That's the thing. This kid's yeah, not playing, and I don't sucks. know if he's back yet. If he's well, back, let's, let's look. Yeah, find us. Look, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. We should okay. find this. So here's now. the team summary. You know, because on the SEC. on the bracket finder, you can look at all this stuff. True. Uh, SEC. Whatever. So this says Tennessee enters the tournament as a pop- popular pick to make a run, mm-hmm. thanks to one of the nation's elite defenses. Yeah. Their aggressive man-to-man system holds opponents to the lowest field goal percentage against. After losing guard. Uh, Zakai Ziegler to injury earlier this month. <clears throat> Santiago Vescovi or Vescovi uh, has stepped up as the focal point of the offense. The Vols finished the regular season losing six of ten. Yeah. And their inconsistent three point and free throw percentage are causes for concern. Yeah. So that kid is not back. He's not back. I think they go down. Mm. I think they go down. I think I think it's the raging Cajun time. This is the first four. By the way, there's always a four thirteen upset. <coughs> I think this is it. This, we, is, it? this is the one. Okay. Yeah, I think so let's it. now. Here's the here's the blurb on uh, raging Cajuns. Put raging Cajuns. for a third straight season. The raging Cajuns grade as an elite rebounding team, which is big in the tournament. Yes, it is. But this team struggles to cash in easy points at the free throw line. Ugh. That will undoubtedly be their undoing. And that has led to offensive inconsistencies. Mm-hmm. Even on low volume, this team is accurate from distance. That's and good. that gives them some upset intrigue in the right spot. This might be the right spot. I think it is. I think I'm going rage. Yeah, let's rage. let's rage it. The rage. I'm, I'm putting rage on the next line. Uh, moving down. Now, this, is, this one is personal for me. Um... 
Providence, Kentucky. <clears throat> um, I Let's go eleven. Took night classes at Providence um, once upon a time and played with those guys back in the day and um, tried to walk on, but they weren't going to let me. <laughs> so broken neck. Uh, that's what, one of the downfalls of that. <laughs> okay, so um, but I've always liked the Friars. I grew up not far away from them. my father. Actually worked on the, well, his company. Actually did work on the on that campus. So I've always been a Providence guy. Uh, way back to Billy Donovan days. I think Providence knocks off Coat Daddy Cash, as we call him in the Northeast. Daddy Cash goes down. They call. Him- Calipari, Daddy Cash. I was at a UMass party when Marcus Camby was there. You should have seen this this chain, this rope around his neck. <laughs> this didn't look real, but it was thirty something thousand uh, dollars. So um, I'm taking Providence in that one. Um, uh, then we go to. Yeah, I'm going Prov too. Yeah, because um, Kentucky. Who would Kentucky just get slapped around by? Uh, it was Vanderbilt. It was Vanderbilt. Kentucky's been inconsistent. Already. Yeah, um, they've got well, talent. Well, because he's always got a young team. Yeah, well, they got a senior though. This dude nice. came back. Um, so yeah, you, I'm pretty sure I picked. They were they finished 21 night. and 11 um, in a tough conference. It's a tough conference, um, but the Look. senior who came back, Oscar uh, Tashibi, um, who's a double double machine, six, 16 and a half, 13 yeah, 21. Providence. But um, and they've got some balance there. Kentucky but again, has a senior. Yeah, him. Wow. Yeah, he was the SEC player of the year last year. Came back because he didn't get any drafted, and I, he still hasn't worked on his jump shot. But anyway, wow. uh, we got both got Providence. And then we go Kansas State, Montana State. K-State. K-S- yeah, I can't see. I don't know. I know you said you don't like Kansas State, but. Uh, I don't like Mon- Montana State at all. Uh, Michigan yeah, State, USC. Look, I love Tom Izzo, and I love that Tom Izzo, too. Um this team had a down year for them. Now again, they're in an elite conference, so they went ten and ten. They won nineteen games. They play a tough schedule, they do. But USC also plays a tough schedule, and they have more talent. Um, and I think at the top of that conference, the Pac-10 is better than the Big Twelve up top. Big Twelve has more depth, but I think they've gave this was a mm-hmm. this was a, a reputation drawing. Yeah, but I think I, it was. but I, so I. At first glance, I agree with you, and I think overall I still agree with you, mm-hmm. that, of course, a lot of this has to do with Tom Izzo and the program built yep. there. Yep. However, when you look at the matchup, okay, mm-hmm. versus the top 25, mm-hmm. Michigan State has played eight games. Mm-hmm. USC's played six. Mm-hmm. Michigan State was four and four. USC was two and four against the top 25. Mm-hmm. BPI rank, mm-hmm. you know, all the shit that goes into yeah. home losses, away yeah. losses, top 25. Sure. Um, Michigan State's ranked 37th, USC 54th. Yep. That's Conf- their conference is perceived to be of tougher. Course. Yeah. Of course. Um, and that's where some of that bias comes in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I mean, they lost to Gonzaga by one. Early, yeah. Uh, Michigan State, yeah. they lost twice to Purdue, which th- neither one of those is a bad loss. No, no. Um, but they've got – there's 12 of them, Tom. Keep going. There's plenty of losses to shoot. Oh, yeah, I know. They, lost, they, uh, <laughs> they, they some, split with Indiana, so they beat Indiana, Indiana yeah. and they lost. Yep, Indiana's good. Um, they lost to Alabama by 11. They beat Kentucky. Uh, they split with Iowa. They beat Penn State. So they have – you know, you're right. It's 12 losses. We yeah. can't cover that up. Alabama beat them by 11. Um, yeah. They, look, they, they, he doesn't duck anybody. They lost to Notre Dame. That's the one right there. Notre Dame stunk this shit. Why isn't that in here? It's because I don't know where that loss about. should be in here. Notre Dame it's is a notable the one. result. Uh, Northwestern beat them. Who's in? Um, they lost at Illinois, Purdue. Um, they lost at they lost yeah. to Purdue twice. Lost to Rutgers. Mich- they lost to Michigan. Who's not in? Who were you know refused to go to the NIT? Actually, they did go. All right, but let's look at U- USC. Yeah, because um, so they have ten losses. They do. Um, we'll do. They US. beat Arizona State twice. They did. They lost to Arizona twice. Yeah, well, they didn't, yeah. They beat Auburn. Yeah. They lost yeah. to Tennessee. Yeah. They split with UCLA. Yeah. They beat UCLA. And got yeah. their ass beat by Oregon. Is Oregon in? Oregon's yeah. not in. They yeah. lost to, They lost by 18 to a team that's not in? Well, that's Michigan State did that, too. Michigan State got bum-blasted by Notre Dame by 22, and they're not in. Yeah, but, I mean, the leprechaun was out there. I don't care if the leprechaun was seven foot four. I know he's not an American white. No, he's an Irish he's white. An Irish white. But. With red hair. Orange hair. Whatever you call it. Red orange. Doesn't it look orange more than red? Yeah, I know they call it red. Yeah, and look, I have nothing against redheads. Easy, I'm a big fan. It's easier but anyway. to just say redhead than it is orange head. True. Think about that. Um, so what, do you pick up Michigan? Uh, yeah, Michigan State. Wait, did you go over that whole schedule? Where's, uh, 
I mean, I, it's a toss-up. It is. Um, who's who's the, the coach for USC? Do we know that? Mm, let's, let me see if I can find that out. Because um, I'm curious as to... The coaching Izzo matchup. should, yeah, because Izzo should. This is why I'm leaning towards Michigan State because he's the better coach. Yeah. If you don't in a toss-up game, it's usually the team with the better coach that wins. So yeah. Izzo's as good as any coach in this tournament. So but that's why I'm leaning. But can take over, and it's you know it doesn't matter. Talent can win. No talent does, but if you if you're closely if you're evenly matched, which this looks like a pick'em game. Yeah. Um, it could go easy. That's, go, that's why I'm going to go with MSU just because I think Izzo gets him a win. To validate him getting in. Marquette, Vermont. Look, Vermont That's got easy. screwed here. Um, I saw them a couple times this year. Um, they went out on the West Coast. Only lost to you at USC by four. Um, and they they played a very good team. UMass Lobby was the one who 26-7 and seven didn't get in here. Um, no respect for the East Coast, really, and a lot of stuff this year. <laughs> um, but they're playing Marquette, and Shaka is for real. He's the best young coach in the game, arguably. Uh, it's him and John Shire. But Shaka's got the – I'd say Shaka right now because he has a Final Four appearance. We'll see what Shire does. But um, Marquette is for real. They are for real. Them and UConn are both for real. So I've got Marquette. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, um, so – Now – No, hang on. Vermont. Yeah. Listen to some of this. Yeah. So they played USC, lost by two. Two. I'm sorry, it was two. Okay. Yeah. They lost to St. Mary's by 26. Yep. They beat Colgate mm-hmm. toothpaste by one. By one, yep. So Who's that's in? a tournament team. Yep. Um, they lost to Iona by 21. Iona's a tournament team. Ricky Patino. Who won that? He won his. Pro he won his. Didn't matter. They won their conference They too. lost to Yale by 29. Yale, well, Yale, Yale lost to Iona in that game. Yale finished in second in that conference. Yale, Yale lost to Iona. Yale lost to Princeton. Who got it? Yeah, I know. In the, in the con- But Yale won the regular season title. Princeton won the conference title. I mean, the tournament title. Yeah, it was the regular season champ of the Ivy League. It looked like shit. Well, Princeton is good. They were they were one and two all year in that conference. So anyway, yeah. Either way, Marquette's gonna roll them. Yeah, that's a tough. That's, <laughs> that's a tough. That, that's, draw. that's a tough draw. They should have been. I thought they should have been between twelve and fourteen. It would have been better for them to be in a playing game. They could, they probably could have beat a yeah, couple of teams. That they we've probably seen could have because Vermont is a good team, and the problem is they're they're running into a bunch. So it's not fair. Uh, but but again, lack of respect for the East Coast boys yeah. and girls. It's it's West Coast bias this time. <laughs> um, so that brings us to round two. Starting back up at the top, Houston Auburn. Um, this is where Auburn Bruce Pearl ends it. Uh, Houston, Calvin Sampson has been here with Oklahoma as a coach. Remember, he had Stacey Auburn way back. Calvin Sampson has been around a long time. And he's a very successful coach. Now, Bruce Pearl's no slouch. He's been to a Final Four. But Houston, talent-wise, is far superior to Auburn. If you've seen them both play, you know that. So I'm picking Houston on this one. Um, I'm not sure where you're going to go with that. but um, Well, so I had Iowa. You were confusing me there because I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Auburn's not in the second round. Yeah, you, yeah I have. <laughs> oh, well, you got whatever, yeah. <clears throat> You so I'm I'm going pretty sure I got Houston. I'm trying to find it on my bracket. Yeah. Uh which brings us to a, a very good game, Miami, Indiana. Um Indiana is legit, but so is Miami. And um Miami from most of the season looked like the best team in the ACC until the tournament and they ran into Duke. Um so um as much as I like Indiana, I like Miami more. Um, I said that they were going to represent, and I think they're going to. Um, who do you got now? I got Indy. Okay. Um, Pitt, Xavier. I, I like the big on Indy. Yeah, no, That's why I'm going yeah, there. Yeah. Pitt, Xavier. I've already got Pitt already upsetting Iowa State. That's two games they don't want because they're in the play-in. Um, they're not beating Xavier. Xavier's one of the top three teams in the in the uh, Big East, in my opinion. So I got Xavier beating Pitt there. That's the first ACC. I have team Iowa there. State beating Xavier there. Okay. Um. Which brings us to, did you pick A&M or Penn State? I picked A&M. Okay, so this is Texas versus, I've got Texas winning either. I haven't got yeah, Penn State. I got Texas winning. I got Texas too. winning. So, um, so UT advances there. Um, going down to the west, Kansas, Arkansas. Kansas is way, way, way more talented than Arkansas um, and more experienced. Kansas takes care of them. I got, I got um, Kansas beating Illinois. Yep, yeah, okay. So either um, way. VCU, Con, bye-bye VCU. <laughs> UConn is loaded. Um, they are loaded. Danny Hurley has done a great job. Uh, I tell you what, following a legend. No one, yeah, ta- no one talks about Jim Calhoun. 
and three national titles, and he beat he beat Duke in a final. He beat me. He, he's but Danny he, didn't have to follow him. No, mm, he was the guy after, after the him. guy. Yeah. Well, he's Which done a good. He's done a hell of a job putting this team back on the map because oh, yeah. UConn's been legit all season. Yeah. And uh, I think that as much as I love VCU, this is a this is where I get mad. I saw that draw. I'm like, God damn it! I hope win one game or at least because they ain't gonna beat these guys. See, here's my um, problem. I'm and by picking, the way, I'm they, picking VCU. They stri- Go ahead. You know, but I'm picking with my heart. That's all right. You admit it. It's all right. Yeah. Right. Now, by uh, tomorrow, I might have changed it to UConn. Uh, by tom- if if something happens between now and noon tomorrow, folks, remember these pencils have erasers. Well, on. it's like I hate <laughs> picking against my guys because it's called being impartial. I know. <laughs> no, wrong I, I want them to make a run, and I want to be a part of Look, saying it was going to happen. I don't have. I have Kansas. I hope that UConn loses because I have Kansas going to the Final Four out of here. So I rather they. I'd right. rather VCU win. VCU has beaten Kansas in that round. Before. That's right. Yes, before. Not this time. <laughs> so, um, that was anyway, a hell of a team they beat. It was um, Arizona State. I have. Who do you have here against Zaga? Um, I have TCU beating Gonzaga. Okay, I have Arizona State beating Gonzaga. Okay, so we yeah. both have Gonzaga yeah. falling that round. Well, because the thing about Gonzaga is Timmy's good, but ASU has beaten <coughs> teams better than. ASU is not going to be afraid at all of Gonzaga. They beat UCLA and fucking Arizona. They are not going to sniff or blanket Gonzaga. I give you not. credit going Arizona yeah. State here. Coming through the play-in game. Um, um, but Danny you know, Hurley, one of the greatest college guards ever. And and see the I good, mean, Bobby Hurley, one of the greatest college guards ever. The good thing, yeah, I hated him. Bobby too. Hurley, one of the greatest college guards ever. Three Final Fours, two national. And Bobby Hurley's a jet. If he didn't, if he didn't get in that, fi- if he didn't get, and by the way, player. he torched the dream team, the real dream team in practice. And if he didn't go in that car accident, almost killed him. He might have had a whole broke career because people were comparing him to John Stockton. Did he go to the Kings? Yeah, and he was good. Yeah, he, he was good. A car accident ended his career. I didn't like him because no. he was a pain in the ass, but he was a good player. He was um, a hell of a player. But um, so sometimes that playing game can catapult you. He can. Because you play before all the other teams. The nerves are already and sometimes gone. Sometimes it's like, hey, the nerves are fucking gone. one on one yeah, and done yeah. game. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. And the last uh, time um, when VCU made their run, mm-hmm. they were in the play in game. Yeah. Went all the way to the Final Four. Yep. Yeah. Now, yeah. I believe they were a higher seed than yeah. Arizona State is there, but yeah. they might they might have been 11. Well, again, I, Arizona State's played a tougher schedule, a tough schedule. And in the last 10 days, they've knocked off two of the top seven teams in the country. Gonzaga can't make that claim. Okay, so um, now Gonzaga did beat <clears throat> Alabama early in the year. They did beat them. Mm. Um, and they beat... Um, they Talk beat, to me. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, yeah, they did. Um, but, again, as they get into conference play, other than St. Mary's, they really haven't faced a lot of tough competition in the second half of the season. Well, while AAU, AASU has been in Donnie's the whole second half of them. They're, they're, ASU is battle-tested. Let's put it that way. They are battle tested. In the past month, they've been in Donnybrook after Donnybrook after Donnybrook. Yeah, and but look at all these. So I give Gonzaga credit for some some of these teams. Here. Yeah, they beat Alabama by ten. Yeah, they lost to Purdue. So they played Purdue, yeah. lost by eighteen. Yeah, um, they lost to Texas by nineteen. Yeah, they lost to Baylor by one. Yeah, St. Mary's. You know they they beat them twice. Yep. Uh, they beat Kentucky by sixteen. Yep. And they beat Xavier by four. So. Yeah. They're good. They actually went out and played some teams. They did. That's how they become nice. They're a perennial power. Yeah. No, you're right. That's a perennial right. power. San Diego yeah. State ain't done shit no. like that. Okay. Of course so, not. So that's my point. Well, apparently me. that conference is fucking oh, four yeah. three at largest. Yeah, one of them's getting bum blasted as we speak. Um, so anyway, um, it's gonna be a long time before that team sits down. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, I've got an issue upsetting Zaga. He's got. Whoever you got there. I got there. TCU you beating Gonzaga. Okay. Um, which brings us to, I got UCLA. It was against Northwestern. Did you pick Northwestern or Boise State? I picked Northwestern. Okay, well, all right. I got UCLA rolling these guys. UCLA is legit. People are sleeping on that. UCLA is legit. Um, which brings us over to the South again. Bama, Maryland. Bama's going to destroy Maryland. Um, they are going to just destroy them. Uh, Maryland's only beating for West Virginia, who shouldn't even be in the fucking tournament. They might not so, even beat West Virginia. They might not. It's a, it's a coin flip game. Uh, which brings us to San Diego. Well, he's got Charleston. I have San Diego State against UVA. UVA wins this game. UVA is one of the top five defensive teams in the country, and it's going to get them at least two wins um, because they're going to lock people down because they can. If they can shoot, look out. Okay, But uh, they're going to beat these two. Um, if UVA, they can shoot, it's a big if. But even if they can't shoot, they, yeah, can, they, can, they can beat San Diego State without shooting because defensively they can They're a good out. team. That's another um, coaching yeah, advantage, yeah. too, um, because Tony Bennett's a beast. He is a beast. Um, he's a hell of a coach. He's one of the best coaches in America. He really yeah. is. Um, which brings us to, I had NC State. 
uh, beating Creighton. Did you have Creighton or NC State? I had NC State, and I had NC State beating Baylor here. Okay. Um, This is a tough one. You got NC State Baylor? I mean, I got to be I'm trying to defend. This is a tough one for me. I I remember it was a tough one. Um, Do you want to hear some numbers about the two? I know that Baylor has played the stronger schedule. Um, overall, NC State was ranked oh, man, for most of the year, though. Close, but they, yeah, Baylor is definitely okay. So here are some things to think about: points, opponent, opponents' points per game, the same, huh? seventy points basically. Mm-hmm. Um, versus the top twenty-five, NC State has played four games; they're two and two. Mm-hmm. Baylor's played ten; they're five and five. That's, that's Baylor, more battle tested. Baylor's bad at test. That's what I'm taking. Um, they're twelfth um, in the BPI ranking. Baylor. Yes. Yeah. Um, points per game, they're about the same. 78 for NC State, 77 for Baylor. Mm-hmm. Um, now, NC State beat Duke. Split with Duke, split, split with Duke. Miami. Yeah, they're good. Um, they're good. Lost to Pitt, lost to Clemson three times. Clemson should have got in. Split uh, with North Carolina. Yeah. Baylor beat UCLA. Yeah. Gonzaga. Yeah. Texas. Yeah. yeah. Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> Got their ass beat by Marquette. By that shock. Lost twice to Kansas State. Yep. Who's in? And lost three times to Iowa State. Who's in? They're in the tournament too. Three times? Well, NC State lost three times. I know it's kind of yeah. But, um, but to the team that didn't get yeah. in. So you're going you're staying with NC State? God, that after reading that. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the ACC, but this is the this is the fifth team that got in. This is not the one that's supposed to make the run. Yeah, so um I, I've got Baylor winning that game. Um, I might change my pick okay. after uh, reading that. Um, Although those are some shit losses for Baylor. Um, three to Iowa State. Come on. They were in the tournament. Um, three. NC State has three losses to Clemson, who is not in. Although, although, although Clemson should be in, I know. they're not. Um, I know. Clemson, by the way, lost in their, uh, in their uh, not invited tournament game. They're out. They Clemson, did? They lost. So just like Rutgers. They didn't want to be there. Well, yeah, that's what happens. It's like, it's like you, you have all that's this build up. You think you're in the tournament. You're 14 and 6 in the ACC and you're not in the tournament? Yeah, that's just bullshit. That's a shame. Um, so, anyway, which brings us to I had Missouri. You had Utah State. Or did you have Missouri? We both had Mizzou. I had Mizzou. Against the Cats. Uh, I'm taking the Cats again. Um, Arizona's legit. Um, Fuck, I think I need yeah. to change my NC State pick. <laughs> you're moving too fast. I'm, right, I'm one game below you. I'll stop before we go to the last bracket. It's really not that big a deal because I got Arizona beaten the next. Yeah. We're going to take a break after we pick the last bracket. We'll be at the Sweet 16. That'll give you guys a chance to get a drink. We're going to drink. We're going to find Yoda, Joe Boo, and then we're going to go from 16 in segment two. But we're going to finish it out. Once he, Did you change it? He did. He changed Baylor. it. All right. That's I'm all right. such a bitch. You're not a bitch. You have VCU going against <laughs> freaking How are you a bitch? Well, again, I'm picking it even though I don't I don't think it's going to happen. I don't, Listen, when you have a backcourt, you have a chance. Um, again, the problem is it's UConn. That's Actually, you problem. know what? Fuck it. We're doing it, DCU. Let's go. All right, there you Final go. Final four. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, going to the East. Arizona beat Mizzou, right? Purdue, yeah, yeah, Arizona beat Mizzou. Uh, going to the East, Purdue number one against Memphis. Now, look, Memphis is tough. Uh, this one. You were telling me that Memphis's guards are going to beat them. They they could. Um, this could be the first. Now, I have Duke beat them in the next round anyway in all of my other brackets. Um I, Memphis can is, win this but game. But what is Memphis like in their front court down low? They're big. They're not as big as Purdue, obviously, but they're big. But they're big. But they're athletic. They're quick, and they can see. Here's see Penny. Here's the thing. Penny was a great guard. Penny's going to look at that team, and because Penny's seen this before, Penny played with Shaq. Penny knows, but Penny the way they beat a, a team with Donovan is their guards weak is to press their guards and take the big man out of the equation. Meaning he catches the ball ten feet further away from the basket where he wants to, where Memphis's quickness can take over. This Basically is gonna, what Penn State waited till the last, last five, five, minutes, five to minutes to do, do. which if they done in the beginning, who knows what would have happened? But they didn't. Anyway, the bottom line is, and of course the coach was stupid for taking his big guy out, but um, he thought it was over and that was a mistake. Okay, which by the way tells me something about him as a coach. Okay, he tends to he tends to think it's over when it's not. Okay, so um, but I've got Purdue. I just can't pick Memphis. I've got there. Purdue. It's going to be close. If Memphis wins this game, I'll be surprised. I have Purdue going down next round. So, but I'm you picking. You imagine? I picked Purdue in every bracket. You talk all that shit about Memphis and Penny, and then you go, I yeah. got Purdue. I picked Purdue <laughs> twice already. <laughs> I said Memphis has has the potential to beat them, but I don't think they the other thing that, that should be known, and I'm going to go on record as he picked his wife's bracket too. No, I didn't. You never let me finish. What I did was I gave her friend 
the top five, the favorites. He literally came out. My wife. You know, Becky had me pick her bracket. And I go, you picked it? No, no, I didn't pick it. No, what I did was she picked her final, but she couldn't pick a score. I didn't pick the teams. I gave her the score. The story keeps changing. I didn't finish the story. You can't change the story when you never finished it. Okay, the bottom line is all you I come did, out and say, no, I had to pick Becky's bracket. No, I was, and then you go, I didn't pick it. I was being sarcastic Red-handed. when I said that. What I meant was... Red-handed. No, what I said was... You ask her, do you think my wife's going to lie? Red-handed. Ask my wife. No, yeah, women. I forgot women don't lie. They don't. You think, but you mother, think my wife's gonna lie about a bracket? You think my wife's gonna pick a bracket? Uh, gonna lie I'm about this? I'm not even gonna ask her. Yeah, because you're gonna, yeah, because you're gonna feel like a fool. Anyway, what I did was I gave her friend. You told me you picked her bracket in years past. I was so being I sarc- Listen, I didn't pick her bracket this time. All I said was, I, she was texting her friend, and her friend was asking me about who I thought. I said, look, here Nobody are the top five. Becky, Becky said, I don't know what to do. I'm like, you just saw the text I sent to your friend Noreen. Okay, it went through you. So you know who the five favorites are, so go from there. Now, to her credit, she didn't doesn't have all five favorites in her final form. She has three of them, which is fair. All, all right, right, so you got the Raging Cajuns knocking off Duke or what? No. <laughs> Either do I. Because um, like Duke him. better be there to be Purdue. Um, I think Duke is, uh, Duke is on a mission, and I think this kid's getting underrated. Uh, people forget his experience as a player and as a coach. Filipowski or Shire? No, Shire. Filipowski's not a coach. <laughs> um... Providence KSU. Um, I got Providence getting to the Sweet Sixteen. This is more. This is my hard pick. From that, the Paisans, the Paisan. Providence, like, you'd love Providence. Like ninety-five percent Italian. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'd love it. The Itals. The Itals are in there. Yeah. So I'm going with the Friars there. Um, and then the last one before we break, Marquette, uh, Michigan State. Shaka wins that one. Um, the Shaka's also a great coach. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take a break right now. Uh, we'll come back. Same two from this. We'll take it from the Sweet 16. All right, this is going to be a lot of fun because you know this is where the rubber meets the road. So you guys get a frosty one. We should have done this live. It's wet my whistle in case Wednesday. Somebody came uh, on. Somebody came on. Who knows? Yeah, they've already picked their brackets. But anyway, um, we'll be back on the other side. These will all be going up tonight, but you'll see them in the morning before the game. Sorry, starts. I delayed this. We should have done this Monday. Probably. Well, it's no, too we, late. We had to talk about it. I know, but it's too late now. No, it's not. That's all good. We'll see you on the other side.